Hello again, this is Larry at Hagemeister's Enterprises Incorporated. We're a full line starter and alternator supply company. We rebuild, we have new units, uh, magnetos, all your electrical needs. Today we're going to talk about starter solenoids and starters. This one we have in front of us here is a 38MT 24 volt starter, which customer brought in and said uh, would like a solenoid. And unfortunately, Customers a lot of times self-diagnose what they have and unfortunately it's not the problem. So uh, we have got the starter here. The next thing I'm going to do is disassemble it and show you why it's not the solenoid. I'm going to test the solenoid and show you the process that's involved. Basically what happens with a starter is you've got electrical energy turning it into mechanical energy. That's a real big thing. The alternator does the opposite. It takes mechanical energy and turns it into electrical energy. This starter is going to be a real good case for that because once we disassemble it and I'll show you the problems, I'm going to check the solenoid. Had we replaced the solenoid like the customer wanted, the unit would not have worked. And then he's upset, they're upset. So we try not to make that happen. So we try to educate everyone who wants to learn why and what for and how that solenoid works. Okay, we're going to do a test on this starter. You can see my voltmeter right here, 25 volts, 25.2 volts. I got my cables here. We're going to do a test and see what we get out of this starter. We take a jump wire for the start terminal, which is right here. And let's hook this up and see what happens. Look at that. Just an arc. So see how see many amps that's drawing? That's a lot of amps. We're going to talk about that at another time. But uh, what I wanted to point out was that the starter is not doing anything. And so the customer believes, yes, it's a solenoid. I need a solenoid because the starter doesn't do anything. But what they don't realize is that this starter solenoid, like all starter solenoids, have a connection here to the start terminal of the vehicle. When you apply power here, it sees a ground through the motor strap. That's what we call this. This is a motor strap. It sees a ground through the connection of the brushes in the armature. And as it sees that ground, then it will draw in. There's two coils in the solenoid, a hold in and a draw in. The draw in coil is the one that draws all the amps at first and the hold in coil doesn't draw as many. But if it does not see a good ground, which is through the motor strap, to the brushes, to the commentator, if that has not got a good ground, it will not activate. It'll do just what it's doing right here. So then the customer thinks it's a solenoid. So the next thing we're going to do is take the starter apart, let you take a look at the inside of it, and then we're going to do a test on this solenoid to see if it is any good indeed. And uh, let the customer know what he's going to have to do to get this thing fixed. Okay, as you can see, we have the starter disassembled. Uh, pretty rough shape here. Uh, I wanted to show you, here's the field case. Uh, here's your field coils. The electricity comes into here, transferred from the battery through the solenoid to here. Comes around through the field coils. Here's your positive brushes. It sees a ground through the ground brushes, which is screwed down to this plate right here. This is called our common cap. And it was sitting on top of here, and you can see right here it was actually the ground was interrupted at different times you can see the small amounts of arcing right here inside that cap because this is what grounds this for this to see a ground to activate now what they've done to this starter is obviously it looks like it's been over cranked uh, the terminals on the solenoid are not blue but at some point the starter was just cranked and cranked and as you can see why we didn't get any starter working is that hold this up here see if you can get in there at that view the brush holder is actually right here the brush holder is actually bent and the brush is all broken uh, there's no contact for the brushes in the commentator upon further inspection I find out that a bar has lifted completely out of the armature here's the armature in a good state but this particular bar it flung out of here because it, the starter saw so many RPMs. As you can see, this starter 
is what we call a planetary gear reduction starter. It's got a planetary gear here. The armature goes into here and turns these gears, which in turn turns this gear to start the engine. This is a this is an inline planetary gear reduction starter. And why we do it that way, why manufacturers build it that way, is because it takes less amps to get the same amount of power. So we don't take as many amps from the battery. Now, as you can see, there's not a lot of hope for this. Uh, we could probably, uh, you know, you'd have to track down an armature. Um, pretty much a starter is pretty well shot. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and test the solenoid, uh, and we'll we'll do that test. But but they're pretty much looking at a total replacement here for this starter. It's just it's just been through too much. And again, we've got a customer that just wants to buy a solenoid. That's not going to work. Okay, here we've got uh, the solenoid mounted in the vise. I was going to go ahead and do a test on it. Now, what I'm going to test for is two things. One, to see if it has a good draw in. We want to know if it sucks in good, like they're supposed to do. And then also we want to see if it's making contact between this post and this post. This is your battery connection. And when it draws in, electrical draw in makes a mechanical connection across these two points, which then transfers power to this motor strap on the starter. Now, when I check this, I'm simply going to light up a test light and that's going to tell me that current is flowing through these two contacts to the starter motor. Now, I would think that this starter solenoid has been under a lot of strain because if it was connected to all this burn up stuff here, it's probably got some arcing in the in the contacts, but I just wanted to set this in the vise and show you how it works. Now, in the vehicle again, you've got a hot wire coming down to here when you turn the key on or the starter button. When the starter doesn't work, again, like this customer condemning the solenoid, wait a minute, like I was telling you, it's got to see a good ground here and through this point, through this, through the motor, all them, those things we talked about. If it does not see that good ground, it will not draw the solenoid in. Now. <clears throat> I've got it hooked up, I've got my ground here, and I'm going to take my this wire and run it to my 24 volts, I've got my voltmeter here, and we're going to watch it draw in. When it draws in, it should light up this test light to see that this, this thing is putting out enough power, or at least transferring power. So let's just leave that right there, and uh, let's go ahead and, and see what it does here. Yep. It's drawn in with a lot of authority. It's pulling in fine. My voltage is dropping off to about 20 volts. It's pulling in just fine. They draw a huge amount of amperage. In another video, we're going to talk about what to do about that amperage draw because it is a big deal. It's a big deal in what we do. So I just wanted to uh, let you know that, that this thing does seem to be fine. Uh, and again, we're going to talk about that, that amperage draw in another video. Okay, thanks for watching our video on the uh, on the starter solenoid today, this circuit. If you have any input, any questions, or maybe you would like to see a video on the type of things that we do, uh, you can visit our website at heielectric.com and send us an email. We'll get back to you or we'll possibly make a video on something you'd like to see. Stay tuned to these videos because we're going to talk about a lot more things. We're going to talk about uh, starters that are not gear reduction, we're going to talk about solenoid circuits, we're going to talk about relays, all kinds of good stuff and uh, I'm sure that, that anybody interested in this subject will be wanting to watch these videos, that's why we're going to produce them. Thanks again for watching.